This video is made for adult collectors because... All right, Cliff Jumper versus. So Cliff Jumper versus evil scientist dude, the perfect Decepticon, and bro literally named Cancer. I only see this ending one way. Cliff Jumper got no chance in this pack. I know the joke is Cliff Jumper dies every time, but like that's only happened immediately twice. It's still funny though. This isn't Cliff Jumper versus, it's Cliff Jumper die. This is the new Legacy 4 pack, and bro, I love value packs. Such a great way to get molds you want for affordable prices. You get three deluxes and a Voyager for the price of three deluxes and a little bit extra. So, like, you're getting a free figure almost. Tarantulas is free, let's say, because he's just kind of there. I got this mainly for the other three. I don't need, really need Tarantulas. So, off to the local shop he goes. But these four toys are still very good for a value pack. A character that people knew was coming, a Titan's Return mold with a heavily improved on, a mold people really wanted, and a spider. Getting Tarantulas out of the way, he looks alright. I like the prototype colors and the shade of orange is cool, but there's a lot of grey on here. And it looks a bit bland to me in person. The other three though, oh, they good. Tarn, I think, looks epic. I love the fact that Cyberverse, which to my knowledge has the highest kill count of important and named characters on screen, but they put Tarn in a very kid-focused show. I love Cyberverse for what it was, so I was super pumped to get this toy. Now all I need to do is get the blue toy hacks, like face stickers, and then let's just remove his arm. There we go, now he's accurate. Jokes aside, I like these colors a bit more. They feel a little sharper than the original's more softer purples. I'm really digging the shade of burgundy red. It's a very nice shade. The thighs are, they kind of move more towards brown than gray, but it looks nice. And the chest detail looks killer with all that color on it. The gold just pops. He has a sword too, cause it's on the mold. So why not? I mean, bludgeon, blah, blah, blah. I'm giving this sword to my slipstream when she comes in end of this year. Cliff Jumper is the same as Chase, but red. His deco is pretty plain red and gray, but it works well for this mold here. I like the new head. The nose is a bit funky, but it's not terrible to me. And you can take the weapon and make it like the triple gun thing out of it. Now I can give him chases and bam. Two guns. It's definitely better than the chase version because the colors alone just make it look a lot nicer to me. His shoulders don't tab in though, just my, one of my chases didn't and this one, both of them don't, but eh. Now squeeze play. This thing was such a surprise. It was weird when they chose mind wipe for this. Like I initially thought, what? But it works quite well, but I also never liked mind wipe. So I wasn't sure how this would turn out to be fair, but it turned out very nicely. I love the look, weird brownish plastic and all. I feel like it fits this more so than it fits TF1 Optimus. And I love the head. Titan Masters in 2024, that's awesome. Please keep this gimmick and please keep doing it. I love the standard. He comes with a shield and browning as a gun. The snake head sticks out a bit too far on the back for my liking. So I unpeg it and like just collapse it a little bit and call it a day. The only thing to watch out for is paint chipping on the arms. These parts are painted and the elbows have to bend upper arm first, then lower arm. If you go the other way, you'll do what I did and slightly scratch the paint a bit. He is extremely poseable, which is why I scratched that because I've been playing with it way too much. So having already seen what Tarn and Tarantulas' articulation is like, because they're completely unchanged, whoops, I just hit my light, completely unchanged from their original molds, I figured we'd just talk about these two. Now, Cliff Jumper isn't actually changed from his original mold either. I just wanted to point out something that I don't think I pointed out with Chase, because Chase's shoulder is actually locked in. But because they don't lock in, you can have the shoulders sit a little bit lower for certain, like, angles and stuff. So it does look a bit nicer at certain angles if you're taking like photography and stuff like that. And also his ankle tilts go that way. So you can get him to like, look at that. You can get him to balance easily in certain like directions. So yeah, otherwise he is completely unchanged from Chase. This guy, however, is very different from Mind Wipe because they actually, because well, for starters, his it, lower legs are entirely like new. I'm pretty sure most of his torso is also new. His arms, I believe, are the same as Mind Wipes. These feet feel like they're about the same. But 
yeah, everything else I believe is new because this is just a heavy partial of that mold. I don't have Mind Wipe anymore. I got rid of that thing ages ago because I did not like it. But to start with Titan Master Head. So you got a little bit of wiggle waggle. You can rotate left and right. Can't really look up and down that much. Shoulders are on ball joints so they can go out that far. And they're on a hinge so they can go even higher. You do have a really stiff bicep swivel. Now the elbows, as I said, you want to bend the top first and then the bottom. That way it doesn't rub against the bottom of the black joint here and chip the paint. So you have a double jointed elbow, nothing at the wrist. You do have a waist joint. The hips can go forward, they can go back, they can go in and out. You have thigh rotation, 90 degree bend at the knee. The toes can go down. And if you unclip it, you have an ankle tilt that goes all the way. So he's very poseable for the mind wipe mold. They added a little bit more articulation to it. So it feels nice. He feels a lot more stable, especially with his feet being big. <coughs> Start dying. Uh, this head, it, like I said, it's supposed to be here, but I personally like it down here. Does get in the way of the waist joint, but you can literally just move it. Um, my copy though, does have a couple of loose things. Nothing terrible like mind wipe. Like mind wipe was really loose when I got him. But uh, the one thing is his this hip is a little loose. I can tighten the screw and that'll fix that right up. Uh, and this thigh swivel is a little loose. And again, I can put some polish in there and fix it right up. But that's it for like loose parts. Everything else is really nice and solid, especially these bicep swivels. They are very tight. So, and the, the, the head doesn't like, it doesn't wobble as much as a Titan Master normally does. So he's pretty solid for the most part. I think they fixed most of Mindwipe's issues. Like I said, I just have a couple loose loose bits here, but I can fix those. So this pack for robots is pretty sick. I like it a lot. And so far it's my favorite multi-pack that they've released so far for like the modern multi-packs and generations. So again, skipping Tarn and Tarantulas because they are literally the exact same. I'm still gonna transform Cliff Jumper because I find he's a little bit more enjoyable to do now that I've messed with it more. And then we'll actually walk through this. But Cliff Jumper here, I love, again with Chase, I love how the alt mode parts with where they come from on the robot. Like the way they did the lower legs becoming like the headlights in the front of the vehicle and then having it all smooshed together on this big armature, that works so well. It feels like, peg in, it feels like RID, uh, what's it, Prime RID Viacon, which I love that mold. So this is, this is just great. But no, Cliff Jumper, I find when you get to the arms here, he fits a little bit better together than Chase did. Cause like you peg all this in, right? And you get this whole assembly pushed in. These are easier to push in now than they were on Chase, at least on my copy. So it's a little bit more enjoyable to do this. And I actually find myself flicking it back and forth quite often. I don't have something lined up properly. There we go. I find myself doing it back and forth very often because that's, that's honestly, they, they, they really did sort of fix this back end a little bit. Like it's a little bit easier to fit everything in. Now squeeze play, he shares like this arm transformation step with mind wipe. Everything else is pretty much new. So we're gonna remove his weapon because he doesn't need that. So his head comes off, unfolds, it's a man. Does the Titan Master have a name? Does it have a, no. Oh, it does, Locos. Locos, L-O-K-O-S, I think that's how you pronounce it. There he is. So, let's start by folding in the hands. Ow, just pinch my finger. Folding in the hands, and then again, doing the double jointed, well first rotate the bicep, then do the double jointed curl of the bicep and peg it in to the back of the leg. Eh. Come on, come on. Oh, peg in, there we go and then rotate the legs like that. We're gonna open up the spudstrunt thing. I love all the detail on the inside of there too, that's nice. Now you wanna take the legs, rotate it at the hip, and then rotate it at the thigh. So that way you have the shoulders and elbows oriented properly for monster mode. We're gonna take the head, bring it up, peg it into, oh, don't detach it, peg it into place. And then we're going to bring these down and just sort of rotate this around you're supposed to go the other way, but I'm, I'm, I've done it out of order. Get the legs oriented however you want. I personally like them sticking out like that. Then fold in the claws and bring them down. Fold in the claws, bring them down. I like using this as sort of like an elbow kind of. And then what we're gonna do is open the chest up, put Locos in a seated position, stick him in there. Come on, there we go. Plonk him in, 
And then you take the tail, bag it into the back, and that is squeeze play. So these alt modes, other than squeeze play, are pretty much the same as their older counterparts. Cliff Jumper is a muscle car, Tarn is a tank, and then there's an orange spider. I like Cliff and Tarn still more so than their original counterparts personally, but squeeze play, squeeze play looks epic. I shift the head down though, because I think it looks strange sticking straight up. But once the head is compressed, it looks so cool, like a little troll goblin dude with lots of purple and blue. The tail looks a bit dinky, but it works as a tail. And I like the little panels on the back here to fill out the sections, they're they're pretty cool. And his articulation for this mode ain't bad either. Now Squeeze Play's articul- there we go. Now Squeeze Play's articulation is pretty all right. You have a shoulder joint here, you have rotation here, you have in and out here, you got an elbow you have claws that open and close and you have a ball joint and a hinge at the foot, but that's like all he can do. Can't really do much in this mode. Oh, and then the tail can move back and forth. But yeah, that's pretty much all he can do. He kind of reminds me of a locust creature from Gears. Like I could see this being like an offshoot of a corpser or something. Also, one thing I wanted to point out with Tarn, I don't think I mentioned this yet. The, the clear chest piece, I haven't had it pop off yet. I've transformed it many times. So it hasn't come off yet. It's still, it's like, it's the exact same assembly, but it hasn't actually come off on mine. So that's nice. I don't know if they fixed it. It feels like they have, it feels a little bit more like robust. So yeah, I, I love this set. Cliff and Squeeze Play are the standouts to me, but I think as a whole, given the price, it's great. And Tarantulas is here, <laughs> but I definitely recommend this set. It's a good value for some pretty good toys and it's a value pack. So it's designed to go on sale. So you can get it for even cheaper if you're lucky and willing to wait. But that's my look at the Cliff Jumper is going to die now four pack. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.